Hello, what's up from my car? I don't think I've ever started a video in my car before, but let me tell you what I'm doing. After this weekend, I am completely sold out of my freeze dried candy inventory. I only have saltwater taffy left on hand, I think. So I am here at my local Walmart in Alaska and I need to stock up on some candy to put in the freeze dryer. There is some candy that I like to purchase um, specifically from Costco, but my Costco, I unfortunately stopped carrying the bulk Skittles that I liked to buy. So I got to buy my Skittles here at Walmart. They're a little bit more expensive here, but such is life. <laughs> so I am going to be getting Skittles for sure, sour Skittles. I want to see if they have high chews and maybe Nerds Clusters. Those tend to be my best selling candy. So that's what I want, what I want to get restocked first. And then I will add a few more extra things throughout the week. I'll take you guys along, show you as best I can what I pick out. It seems pretty busy in here today. So I don't know how much filming I will get to do, but nonetheless, we will see how this works out. Let's go for the ride. I do always say that we have the most beautiful Walmart in all of America. Okay, definitely was crowded in there. If you saw, the candy that I bought cost $36. Once we get home freeze dried and bagged up, I will do a cost profit analysis on what I will sell the bags of candy for versus what it costs me to make them. I thought that might be interesting for you guys if you are someone who is interested in freeze drying candy to kind of know what you can expect profit wise, depending on how much you charge for your candy bags. I am back in my freeze drying room, ready to get this candy started. Do you remember I am struggling with Jolly Ranchers lately? These tropical ones are the ones I did when I first got my freeze dryer and they worked great back then. So I'm gonna see if these will do better than the ones that I have been using recently that have failed me. And I am also lining my trays in parchment paper. That was another big tip that you guys gave me was to try parchment paper. So we're gonna see how these turn out. And the rest of the run will have original Skittles and sour Skittles. And then the other candy items that I purchased, I will do in tomorrow's run, which I will still show in this video and show you how much freeze dried candy we actually get. I'm first going to get my machine into candy mode by increasing my dry temp to 150. I'm gonna run it for four hours. The freeze, when you're in candy mode, it completely skips that step. So you really don't need to zero it out or anything because it's just gonna skip it. I hit save, start, and then after 15 minutes, we can get it loaded up. Sorry, I forgot to film me putting the candy on the trays. Here are those tropical Jolly Ranchers. I used my um, PVC cutting tool to cut, those, to cut those. I will show you those in a second. Here are sour Skittles. These two trays used three of my four bags. Two didn't quite fit well on the trays. One wasn't quite enough. I like to give them a little bit of space so they don't stick together too bad uh, when they come out of the freeze dryer. Now I just gotta get these Skittles on. And don't mind my terrible parchment cutting skills. I am getting on Amazon and ordering that pre-cut parchment for the medium sized freeze dryer. I'm gonna link it in the video description below if you are lazy pants like me and do not do a good job of cutting parchment paper nicely for your freeze dryer trays. I think that's gonna be super handy. We are just waiting uh, two more minutes and then I'm gonna get the candy loaded up in the dryer. We are all loaded up in the freeze dryer. I closed the drain valve, hit the little red candy process 
toggle button to on, it turns green. That's how you know you're in candy mode. I did select to warm the trays for one minute, so it's gonna bring the trays to temperature, hold it there for a minute, and then turn on the vacuum pump. And I am hoping these turn out. I, you know, it's like 10 times the charm for me and these Jolly Ranchers, so. I know the Skittles are gonna be great. Those always are. I'll meet you guys right back here in four hours. We will see how these look and we will get them bagged up in my candy bags. I am thrilled to say, I think my Jolly Ranchers turned out. Can you see them in there? I'm stoked. I think the Jolly Ranchers totally worked. So thank you for your tips. I also think for whatever reason, these tropical Jolly Ranchers work better than the original, at least in the packages that I have bought. So we got our Jolly Ranchers, original Skittles and sour Skittles. I am going to get these packaged up. I am curious to see how many bags of candy I am gonna get out of my four trays. Let's go. I got everything bagged up. Let's see how many I got from that run. I got three Jolly Ranchers. I got two and a half Skittles. So in my next run, I will add to fill this bag. And I got five sour Skittles. Not too bad for one little freeze drying run. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get the rest of the freeze dried candy in here, at least what I can fit on my four trays that we purchased at Walmart. And then we will do our final cost analysis. And we'll of course do some freeze dried candy taste testing at the end of the video as well. Always gotta do that, right? It's time to get myself to bed. Gotta get up early with the kiddos tomorrow, get them off to school, and get the rest of my candy in my freeze dryer. Super exciting. <laughs> I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I am ready to get my next candy batch into the freeze dryer. I'm trying to hurry and get this done so I can get my kiddos off to the bus stop this morning. We have late start every Monday, and I think I said this last time, I almost forgot about the late start things. <laughs> Mom of the year right here, but I at least saw a friend post about it this morning before I woke the kids up, so they got to sleep in still, even though Mama didn't. That's okay. Can I show off my cute sweatshirt? My mom found me in Arizona, of all places. It's an Alaska Cruise sweatshirt. And it's just so cute. It's got a darling back. And I love it. She found it there, sent it to me, and it's actually like super warm and it's getting cold outside. It's been kind of rainy. So we haven't done many Alaskan adventures over the last few days. Hopefully that will turn around soon. Who knows, but it's fall, winter's around the corner. Okay, we had to take a little pause to get the kiddos off to school. Can you guys say goodbye? Goodbye! goodbye. We have, also have new lights. Have a good day. Look at that one right there. Oh yeah, we already got our Halloween lights up. But yeah, I can touch good. it. I can jump too touch. All right, let's get to the bus. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting the candy ready on the trays. It's exciting at the bus stop today the street or the bus stop the street below us kids started running up saying there was a moose nearby so they joined us at our bus stop <laughs> moose can be very dangerous you definitely have more of a danger like everyday life here in Alaska with moose versus bears so you always just got to be on the lookout so I like to go to the bus stop with my kids because they're not the most observant <laughs> kids in the world and would probably just stumble across the moose and not even realize it. I feel like I'm out of breath, which is sad because all I did was walk up a hill back to our house, but you know, whatever. My trays are ready to load up. I don't know if I explained yet what I have on my trays. I did another batch of Jolly Ranchers. I did Soft Werther's Caramels. Those are one of my favorites, and I do cut those in half also because they do puff up really big, so 
I cut those in half along with the Jolly Ranchers. And then I got more Skittles and more Sour Skittles. Let's get these loaded up. I used the same candy settings as I did in my first batch. 150 degrees, four hours. Actually, I think I set this a little bit longer time because I have to be in town for a lot of the part of the day today. So I'm just gonna let them dry longer and be ready when I get back home to take them out and bag them back up. I also selected to warm the trays just for one minute and then it will start the vacuum sealing, freeze drying, magical process. So when we get these out, I will get them bagged up and we will do our final bag count on how many bags of candies we got. I do have some candy left over. I've got enough for at least one more tray of caramels and a tray of Jolly Ranchers. So we even have some left over, which is great. So I will catch you all in a few hours. Until then, see you later. It looks like everything turned out great in this batch. We got our watermelon, watermelon, <laughs> Jolly Rancher, uh, caramel puffs, and our Skittles. Now it is time to bag these babies up. Bagging is finished. Here's what I got out of that candy. These are my extras and you know, my extras, I just save for my kiddos. These caramels were not fitting well in my smaller bags. So I switched some of them to my bigger bags just so they wouldn't crush as easily. I think I got two bags of Jolly Ranchers, four bags of caramels, five Skittles, two sour. Mama duty is calling again. I got to go get my kids, take them to gymnastics. When I get back from all of that, I will do a final count of all the bags, how much I will sell them for and how much it costs for me to purchase them. And we will do a profit analysis of what you can expect to kind of make on your freeze dried candy. And you know, what I just realized I didn't do the high chews. We bought those. And I never froze them. So I'm going to deduct the cost of the high chews from that total from Walmart since I didn't get to them. I'll get to them later on this week. But in case you remember seeing the high chews, I forgot to do them. Dang it. Hey, we are finally back from gymnastics for the night. I'm super tired. <laughs> We're going to get this finished. Here are all of my candy bags from my two freeze dryer runs. We've got six original Skittles seven Sour Skittles, four Caramel Puff, and five Jolly Ranchers. I think my candy total that I purchased at Walmart was like $36 and some change. Since I didn't do the high chews, I'm gonna deduct the $6 and change. I think it was around seven bucks for that high chew. So I'm just gonna make it easy and say I spent $30 on this candy. And if you remember, I have a few left over. I have 22 bags of free shred candy that I typically sell for $5 a piece. I don't usually price my candies based on the actual candy that's inside them. I know that different candies cost different amounts, but I just like to make it easy and then all even itself out in the grand scheme of things. So my total that I could sell all of this candy for would be $110. That leaves me at an $80 profit, which is not too bad. It, I'm not factoring in obviously my time. I did not factor in the cost of my packaging supplies, like my bags and stuff like that. So, and then I have like stickers and labels that go on the bags too, that all cost money that factor into that. So it's not a pure $80 profit and that's assuming everything sells, which things have been selling out for the most part. So I don't worry too much about things not selling. Um, but yeah, there are other costs involved besides just the cost of the candy itself. And you obviously can charge whatever you want for your freeze dried candy. I know people charge more than $5. Some people might charge less than $5. It's all up to you what makes it worth your time and how much costs of supplies are depending on where you live. I know that if I was to like 
have a booth at a market or something that I had to pay a high fee to even get myself into, I would definitely charge more than $5 a bag to help offset the extra cost of being a part of a market and all of that. Just more information. <laughs> So this is fun, kind of sharing with you guys the candy making process. If you are curious about freeze drying candy and selling it yourself and you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. I'd be happy to, happy to help with whatever I can. I hope this maybe has inspired you to make your own freeze dried candy if that's something you haven't done yet. It's super fun. Even if you're not selling it, it's fun to just make. We clearly make a ton of it and enjoy eating it also. If there is a certain candy you want to see in a future freeze dried candy video, leave that down in the comments below. I would be happy to try new things that I haven't done before. If you want a freeze dryer and you don't have one yet, I have an affiliate link with Harvest Dry. I will leave that in the video description. You can click it and see what Harvest Right has to offer. As I've mentioned in previous videos, they have a new version of the freeze dryer that I have that the medium size gives you five shelves instead of just four like I have. So you can get away with more candy in one run than I get. So that's a huge perk. And it wouldn't be a freeze dried candy video without a taste test, right kids? Yeah. All right, they are gonna try some of my extra Jolly Ranchers. Ready, set, go. Mm. Is it airy, crunchy, and delicious? Mm -hmm. This one tastes like mango. I think that is a mango one. Yeah, me. Um, okay, bye. 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 Eating and running, I see. They were cold. They're still in their gymnastics clothes and I'm in a warm sweater, so understandable. I wanted to show our beautiful sunset that we have tonight. It's just gorgeous, but if you look at the tippy top of the mountain out here, there is some snow on it, and that's just unfortunate. The snow that first starts dusting the mountains is called termination dust, and that is because it is terminating summer. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, something that happens around here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the seasons are changing, but it's still beautiful outside. We've had lots of rain, but not like raining all day rain. It'll rain for a couple hours and then like turns into a beautiful evening. So that's been nice at least. <laughs> anyway, I think we have wrapped up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you are enjoying my videos and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and you will see all the fun things that I freeze dry around here. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Bye.